We've seen how to set up the page and we've learned a little bit about paragraph formatting and we touched on the show hide paragraph marker. We're now going to have a look at it in a little bit more detail. For that reason I've scroll, I've zoomed up the size of the text so that you can see quite well what's going to show up on the screen. So once I click the paragraph marker you'll see first off these paragraph marks appear. Now sometimes it happens that you type an extra line by mistake. You know, you're whizzing away, your fingers are fast, you press enter twice. You end up with a funny line spacing. By turning on the light show hide marker, you can find where those extra spaces are and you can take action to remove them. So I'll just delete that one. I'm back to my normal spacing. Other things that this allows you to see are the spaces in between the words. So again, I'll zoom it up a little bit. So notice that, for example, here, between sure and that, there's a dot. That dot represents the space bar. Between the full stop after glass and the word that, notice that there are two dots. And that's where I've typed two line spaces. It's common practice to press the space bar twice after a, after a full stop. And so that allows me to see all of those. And occasionally you'll find things like an extra space popping in, and you may not be able to see that so obviously here, apart from the green wavy line, but assuming that you couldn't see that, the, the um, show hide mark will then enable you to go in and delete the extra space. It also shows us things like tab stops. So this is where I've used the tab key on the keyboard to make a space and line things up. So after vermouth, if I tab across, I can type beer and I can immediately see my tab stops. And if I'd press the tab stop twice by mistake, I can again, I can say, okay, hang on, what's going on there? Turn that back on and go and get rid of that extra space. As I scroll through my document, I'll also be able to see any page breaks that I've forced. So that's a page break that I've put into the document, not necessarily one where the page has broken by itself. So as you'd agree, the show hide paragraph marker is very handy to see what's going on in the behind the scenes of my document. Some people like to work with it switched on and others prefer to work with it switched off. It's entirely your call as to which one of those you choose.